As you can see, the Zach and Mercator is out there guarding the perimeter. Good boy, Zach. Good boy. Here's what I'm up to this morning. Uh, I changed the steering um, rod linkage on this side um, just to try to, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to work without my tie rod ends. It hadn't come. I've got, this thing takes four tie rod ends. I've got two. I ordered two from Parts Geek. I ordered two off eBay. The ones off eBay came like two days later. The ones off Parts Geek hasn't come. And I ordered them on the second of this month, so I'm pretty annoyed with them. They used to be my first choice for online parts, but I'm rethinking that since these parts hadn't showed up. But I, I put in a bolt that was missing in my front end over there and I changed this tie rod in. I'm trying to roughly reconfigure my uh, toe end up under here uh, and trying to work without the right parts. And I'm also messing around with this axle. This is an adjustable axle and it has two adjusters on it. It has this one and it has this one. And I believe this is a double action adjustment here. What I think is happening, and I've been thinking about this a lot, because you see a lot of these and they only have one on it. And uh, Home Motorsport sent me a video about a guy that he works with who used to cut these axles up and put in torsion bar uh, stiffeners. And I believe that's what this is. I believe this goes in here and connects inside here where the torsion bar is. And it locks that torsion bar as far as how much it can, t can turn. And what I think would happen is that if I loosen this one, the front end's gonna ride softer, which I want it to do, because I want Honey Baby to have a nice soft ride. As an experiment, I loosened these and backed them off. They were tightened up pretty tight and I backed them off and that dropped the front end way down low like stuck them tires right up inside the fenders so that told me what this one's doing so I'm gonna put that one back and then I'm gonna back these out and then we're gonna take it for a ride and we're gonna see how the front end rides with those changed so that's what I'm up to right now I guess I'll throw this in for whoever it is that keeps writing to me and telling me I don't have uh, floor jacks under my car you know they say oh you don't have floor jacks under there well it's just because you can't see it there's one back there and there's one over there jack is in the middle on the hump i've had a car fall on me i've been pinned under a car before i've taken my ride in the ambulance <laughs> i know what that's all about i ain't gonna uh on purposely put myself in a situation to have another car fall on me if i can help it i'm just saying that so y'all won't be worried about me i might set myself on fire or who knows what else but if i can help it i'm gonna not have another car fall on me okay just saying that and just because you can't see the jack stands don't necessarily mean they ain't there I think that worked, uh, a test drive would tell me for sure, but I uh, readjusted everything on the front end and now it has a little bounce to it. I don't think it had much bounce before. So I'll take her for a test drive, we'll see what we think.